All right, last time we were here, we installed WordPress. We made some changes to our account, uh, and we also showed you the infrastructure. So let's go ahead and continue getting everything ready um, for use. And one of the things we're going to have to do, and you might notice that my screen looks a little bit different than it did last time, and that was because um, I'm using a different host now. So uh, what I want to do is we want to go into Settings and then go into General. And we're going to do that because we need to set up some of the basic components of our WordPress site. Uh, Trident Tense is what we set it up as, as a site title, but there's also this tagline here, and we want to change that. And I'm going to change this to the best tennis center in Charleston. And that will show up underneath our site tag. Uh, the WordPress address and all that, that's standard. Ignore that. Uh, you already have something. Uh, I'm going to put an email address in here. Um, Tom dot Brady. You should already have one from when you set up your hosting. But I said I'm using a different, a different one, so I'm going to have to set this up. Edu. Uh, the membership thing we're going to ignore because membership is um, if this was a blog and they wanted to register with our blog, then we will allow them to do that, but we're not doing that. Uh, new subscriber role is, a uh, new role is subscriber, and again, that's of no use. Again, that's for blogging. The time zone, you have two choices. Uh, the UTC is uh, because the time is different around the world, so how do we know how to set the server time? Uh, it starts at UTC 0, but actually UTC 4 is what we would need to set it for, and that's for Easter Standard Time. We could also, if we wanted to, uh, come up to the top and set it to New York. And, and New York. Okay, that is also Eastern Standard Time. Either one does the same. Uh, our date format, that's just fine the way it is. And our time format, that's just the way it is. And then our week starts on, for some reason it uh, starts on Monday, and for the rest of the world, we know it starts on Sunday, so we want our calendars to start on Sunday. If it starts on Monday, it's just going to confuse everyone when they look at the calendar, thinking that the first day is Sunday. So we just leave this the way it is. We'll actually change it to Sunday, and then we'll go ahead and save those changes. All right. Those are all changed. Um, if we view our website, we can see that Nothing is found, and that's because uh, we haven't gotten started uh, on that yet. So let's go back to our dashboard. And actually, I'm surprised it did that. <laughs> All right, so the next thing we want to do is let's go ahead and install a theme. So let's go to Appearance and then Themes. Uh, we should have the default, which is the 2014. And what we're going to be using, I like better, is the 2012. So how do we do that? We simply activate that theme. And, and now it is activated. So pretty nice. And then we can go ahead and change uh, the way that looks. But we're going to wait a second for that, because the next thing we have to do is go ahead and get some pictures up. Um, and we do that with our media library. So if we go to media library, It allows you to put pictures in a couple of ways. One is it allows you to insert one directly from your computer, and the other one allows you to go into your media library and grab it from there. I highly recommend that you only use pictures from your media library. So if you want to use a picture, you upload it to media library first, and then you use it anywhere else on the website. If you don't and you pull something from your computer, the, computer, the uh, WordPress doesn't know uh, that you have done that, and the next time you want to use that same picture, it'll make another copy of it because it says, well, you go into your computer, so it must be unique. All right, so what we want to do is we want to add new. And we're going to go ahead and select our files. So I'm going to go on to my stick and our Trident Tennis and our images. And these are the images we created already uh, during the HTML, CSS part of the class. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the first file, hold down my shift key, click on the last file, and then click open. 
and it's going to throw all those pictures up um, into my library. Then once they're in my library, I can go ahead and configure them. And you can see they're popping up pretty quick. And that's what I want to do is I want to get all my pictures and media set up so that they could be used. All right. So um, what I want to do is I want to make sure that I have um, a title for it. So this is my, uh, I'll make it a better tennis logo number two. And for now, we're just going to do this quick because I don't have all day. But the caption is what's going to sit when a person mouses over it. So I can put some information in there. The alt text is uh, also for the user. Uh, if they're using a uh, picture to speech, then it will read that alternate text to them. Also, Google uses that to index our pictures. And then our description we hear. And I would probably put a better description in here because, again, that's the – uh, picture to speech that are on some of the computers so people who are blind can actually see our one. I would probably put more description like uh, Trident Tennis Center with dark background and a three dimensional uh, border around it uh, just so they can picture it in their minds. All right, once I do that, I'll hit the next button. And you're going, whoa, wait a second, I didn't save that. Well, if you go back, it's saved. Um, and let's see, this is our tennis logo one. So I'll put that in there, tennis logo one. And again, because of space and constraints, but we don't want to not have a caption and not have alternate text and not have a description, but we would do a better job and I'll be expecting that when you do your uh, website. All right, and then I'll go on to the next one. And this is the small one, so I'll do indoor tennis court small and then I will copy that and again very lazily paste it in three more times All right, that's saved Right. And, um, well, I'm already almost out of time. All right, so the the uh, before we leave, I'm going to go ahead. Well, let's go ahead and finish this up, and then we'll move on um, to the next thing in the next video. So, Okay, so this is tennis court indoor. And I actually don't like that. So I'm just going to do indoor tennis court, copy, and paste, get rid of this, and then paste it in, and paste it in. All right. All right, I think you got the thing. Go ahead, and I want you to do this. This video is editing now. It's getting too long. So, um I want you to do finish up the rest of them. Go ahead and put in some good descriptions of uh, each of the pictures so that it's very easy for us to use um, later on when we start building pages.